Exactly. And that's even, you know, that's uh, that's already super complex and, and high dimensional. But then those are even just the, the sort of the wireless connections, you know, but then you have the, you know, the wired uh, connectivity between the brain and the rest of the body as well. The vagus nerve, which, you know, I guess informs the brain of the state of the body at any given uh, point in time. So you have this this really, you know, uh, you know, dense interaction between the brain and the rest of the body, you know, using wireless uh, and wired connections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good analogy. So wired versus wireless connections. So neurons are literally hooked up to each other like wires. But what you're saying is basically a wireless connection would be if you have a hormone that like estradiol is high, maybe progesterone is low. So the ratio is really high in one direction. Those hormones are diffusing into the brain and they can separately in two different parts of the brain, far away from each other, affect different circuits in parallel. So we can think of that as a, a wireless connection. Exactly. That's why that's, I think that's how that, that's how you're thinking about this. You know, that's, that's why these, you know, sort of broad broadcast messages are so powerful because they can, you know, as, as you say, they can, you know, sort of synchronize or coordinate um, very different circuits that are located in different parts of the brain, which are not even directly connected, you know?